on the championship tour. The Hurley Pro continues with the former world champ just last season. John John was able to finish off the year number one in the world. So he still reigns outside number one since Jordy's wearing the Jeep yellow jersey, but he's right behind him on the Jeep leaderboard. Already ramping up full rotation on the back end of John John Florence. Already out in front, laying down some beautiful backhand turns. Straight up vertical for a solid, exciting finish. What a performance from Jordy Smith. Oh my goodness. I think uh, definitely the best of today. John John Florence, so not to be outdone. Beautiful backside rotation. Straight into a series of backside maneuvers. I love the style of John. Nice, quiet hands, quiet arms, quiet upper body until he flares out and then it all comes to play. What a way to start, Joe. I think uh, Jordy got John fired up. A 9.27 for Florence to kick off the heat against the wild card, Hiroto Ohara. Near the heat and then watching him literally try to get underneath him to take that first wave and John John got the better of him just because he was underneath him. So John John, a little longer arms maybe, a little bit more paddle power, got just underneath him and found himself that, per that first left. But I love the fact that he's, you know, the, the competition in the water is heated. They're, they're psyched and they both want it really bad. Love that energy out of the wild cards. As check out the Jeep leaderboard. What an exciting world title race. Seven previous stops, seven different winners coming into lower trestles. John's up again. That first turn. Hiroto is going to be comboed. Goes down the reverse on the second effort. Blast and shut, but he can't hang on. Put your opponent in a combo situation, make him crack. Let's have a look at John's opening wave here. Opening turn, I should say, beautiful snap. How he races down the line, gets that outward projection towards the beach. Shuffles back on his board and then goes for this next turn, which he doesn't complete, so not a big score. Having a look now, Hiroto Ohara, first wave of the matchup. High line wrap, perfect timing there. Second car, similar, but spot on. Now drilling it off the lip, this guy goes so fast down the line. Beating sections, now throws a low tail layback and ends up misreading the finish. But a lot of variety, a lot of flow. He knows he's got his work cut out for him against the world champ. Yeah, he does. But 13.61 is the combination he's in. So quite a gentle one, really. That last wave will get him out of that situation and uh, drop that requirement down. But he's got to just stay in the game. Obviously, John's got to replace that 4.33. Let's have a look at Hiroto. Nice. I love his real strong starts, like wide, low center of gravity, real nuggety sort of surfer. Draws off the bottom again, very similar to Fabio Gouveia back in the day. Very similar lines that he draws on the wave, keeps that board moving rail to rail. Obviously, Chiba Japan waves are quite small and weak during uh, most of the year, so this kid is loving these conditions out here and capitalizing, but unfortunately going down at the end. So he's got his throwaways. He can't afford any more bad results. Roto O'Hara on his second effort needs a 6 6 1 for a lead change. Slams on the brakes for that layback hack. Another tight jam. How's that flow and transition with that whip? Tail high reverse on the inside corner. Florence looking to answer. The world champ teeing off the coping into the inside corner now. Deep off the bottom, just that casual throw tail. Reverse right in front of O'Hara. See what happened at the beginning of the wave. Nice opening maneuver. Gets a lot of whip off that first turn. And again, a beautiful jam in the pocket. Spray flying up into the sky. Wave slows down just a little bit, but watch this turn here. Gets a lot of spring in his step and pulls through the back. So smart move right there for John to pull through the back, get that priority back under his belt. Hiroto, watch his back foot on this occasion, Joe. Comes right off the board. Bang, slips off, gets back up. I mean, the, the ability to do that is crazy. And then this turn you love, right? Bang, straight up through the lip and then gets the pop. That's the spring in the step of Hiroto O'Hara. He knows when he's going to pull the trigger, and he's pulling the trigger right now. John John Florence winding up. Front side flow beats the section. Big oh. full rotation into the flats. Wow. The world champ flexes that confidence that BL was just talking about.
And now Hiroto up and out holds priority. Another look, Potts, what do you well, think? Well, it was a short wave and it was a quick one too. It had a lot of wall on it. So right there building the speed, but look at the transition between those two turns. Are you kidding me? Cat-like balance. As he comes into it, you can see him setting it up. Uses that lip to project, grabs it just for a, a second. Landing backward, that's all feel right there, Joe. He's, he doesn't even have his eyes on the landing. People out front, Hiroto O'Hara is in a devastating position, eating two massive scores quickly with four minutes to go. Deep off the bottom, quick little rip through the whitewater, blow tail in the next effort for O'Hara. Still springy through his turns. Nice and low with that stylish roundhouse cutback, but wow. looks like he's coming unglued. Florence is just going the other direction. Absolutely on fire. Responding to Jordy's amazing heat that just completed, and Florence throws another throw tail reverse. He'll step off, but you can tell. When, when John's doing stuff like this, here we go. Let's have a look at Hiroto's wave. A little bit off balance on that one, but this guy is absolutely lightning fast. Bottom turn, top turn combo, spring in the step. I mean, how was that little pop off the top he got? Set in the rail, sneaky powerful, this kid as well. And you heard Mitchell Ross talk about, show them how fast you are. Well, John John's doing exactly that as well. How fast can you go? Beautiful turn there, a lot of water flying off the rail from John John's board. And that just equals power, speed, power, and flow. Hiroto now the minute to go. He's still comboed, but we'll get to celebrate this amazing oh. surfer one more wave as he ends up short again. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously uh, Hiroto, well, not too many people would have uh, bet on him beating John John, that's for sure, but he's put on a great performance nonetheless. And now deciding to join the support crew of John Florence to try to back up the first world title. Into the countdown, Florence happy to be moving on to round four. One of the best performances of the contest. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's right up there with Jordy. I think Jordy and uh, John definite standouts for me. But uh, 9.80 best single score. I love that. These guys are going to go at it.